All right, this is Trip. We're here at AVN with Asa Kira, right? Yes. I said it right. You Yay! Oh First God. try. <laughs> That's awesome. Wicked contract girl, right? The newest one. The newest one. Yes. How's that feel? Uh, it feels amazing. I've wanted to be a wicked girl. I mean, I've said this so many times, but I've wanted to be a wicked girl since I got into the industry, and that was about six years ago. Mm -hmm. So it feels great to finally be here. Yay! <laughs> it's like giggly, right? <laughs> yeah, definitely. It feel it, it feels kind of surreal still. It's only been a couple months, so I'm still yeah, like, wow, right. like I get to wear the necklace and <laughs> I know, you get to be in the group shots. Yeah, yeah, it's awesome. It's well, awesome. Congratulations. Thank very you good. very much. Very People look up to the Wicked Company because they stand for a lot of quality and stuff. Absolutely. I mean, I, I've been doing gon mostly Gonzo for six years. Mm -hmm. So, you know, of course, the production value and all of that is just so much higher over at Wicked. It's like walking onto a real movie set, you know? No, absolutely. And, you know, in Gonzo, it's like y you have the cameraman, you have a PA, and then the person you're working with. Yeah, that's about what I got right here. <laughs> <laughs> I could be making Gonzo right now. But exactly. Not, Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm not ready. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, you know, at Wicked, the crew is always like 30, 40 people. And, sure. and for me, I'm an exhibitionist. So I love the bigger the crew, the better the sex. Oh, so. <laughs> awesome, awesome. Well, that too, and you got lines and all that. Good Definitely. Stuff I love doing, act, yeah, yeah, I love doing the acting stuff. It's a lot of fun for me. Um, I think people don't really know that about me because I'm known as kind of like a dirty girl and you know I do like crazy sex scenes and stuff well, that's what I know you for so. right exactly <laughs> yeah. so people don't know like I love the acting stuff I'm um, it's it's just fun being part of like a bigger movie um, you know from start to finish rather than just being one random scene right. in a gonzo so I mean I there's pros and cons to both but I'm really really excited to be able to work on more features Right, right. And then, well, on top of that, you know, it's, the bigger the movie, the less you can do a year. I mean, so it's like you can only do so many because it takes a little bit longer than doing a Gonzo. For know? sure. You know. I mean, a Gonzo is like you can get a movie done in a week. You know? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's for sale next tomorrow. You know? Right, exactly. <laughs> That's awesome. That's awesome. What do you have planned? What do you what do you got planned for the next year now that you're a wicked girl? <laughs> now that I'm a wicked girl, uh, keep saying that. <laughs> um, well, I just shot a movie for Brad Armstrong. It's called Asa Gets Wicked. It's an all sex. Release. Very good. Very yeah, good. it's like a, it's like an um, an upscale all sex release. Mm -hmm. uh, so I did anal in every scene. There's I wow. think six scenes in the movie. Anal in every scene. I did a couple of DPs. Um, there's a huge orgy, um, and it's. It's basically, I think, um, a combination of me and Wicked. It's like the dirty sex from my side, and then, you know, like they made me look so beautiful. Sure. And sure. like, that's what I love about Wicked is like they always make sure the girl looks amazing, no matter what kind of horrible thing she's gonna do later. Like she always looks really good and like. A she looks great while she's taking it in the ass. You know? Yeah, exactly, <laughs> exactly. Know? And like it's just you know like there's a lighting guy and a and Gonzo's not like that. So oh, no, no. Well, I mean too, you know, you got the the whole thing about, do you want reality or do you want uh, your imagination? style you know do i want an image a glamour shot you know and so you know and there's a little bit for both sides you know for sure but i mean i'm a i'm a girl i like to look pretty exactly you know i don't want i don't want to shoot sex with no makeup on and like, i'm old enough to remember the old school the glamour porn you know and yeah. so I, i'm kind of drawn to that myself you know for sure for sure it's the fantasy why wouldn't the girl look awesome yeah you want to look your best yeah, yeah wanna... so I mean, as a girl, I love to look pretty. So that, definitely, I prefer that. <laughs> awesome, awesome. So you've got that that title, Under Wicked. You also got Underworld, which I'm seeing over here. You're in there. I have Underworld. Uh, it's already released. It's actually up for a lot of the bigger awards this year at the AVNs. Um, I know it's up for, like, the movie of the year. And so I... Honestly, and I'm not just saying this because of Wicked and mm -hmm. whatever, mm -hmm. I think it's going to win. So that That's the word on the street right now, huh? I definitely think so. I think it's a favorite to win. It's an amazing fucking movie. Brad Armstrong is just like, you know, he's almost, his name is almost like synonymous with feature. Exactly. So um, I'm so excited to be a part of it. It's always cool because on Brad's sets, like he'll... He, he has the whole wardrobe laid out for you. Like, every last detail is his vision. So it's cool. Like, um, it's, it's just 
cool to be a part of that. And, you know, the sets are always like crazy and so intricate. It's really cool. Very nice. Very nice. Well, that, that I mean, that's, that's a big difference. You know, a lot of girls never get to experience this kind of thing, you yeah, know? No, I feel so lucky. Um, I also just did a movie for Stormy Daniels called Nothing But Trouble. Uh, Nothing But Trouble. Nothing But Trouble. Yeah. Um, and that, I, I think that's being released right now, like at the show. Oh, very cool. Um, and I just play like, it's really funny. It's a comedy. Oh, that's good. And I play like this, the main character's like really slutty roommates. So. <laughs> oh, perfect. Yeah, so I have a lot of costume changes and it's just, nice. it's a really funny, she's kind of ditzy, so it was a oh, lot of fun. That's play. a lot of fun. Yeah, yeah. I, I love playing like the dumb girl. To me, that's so fun. Um, and you know, it's not too far from. <laughs> no, you're a smart girl. You know? <laughs> so it, it's always a lot of fun. But I think that's like what's so fun about feature films is you get to play a different character and you, you can be somebody else. Yeah, and that's so much fun. Like it's it's like role playing for days. <laughs> yeah, see, that's fun. That's that's the whole theater experience. Once you get in, you get hooked. You know. For so. sure, for sure, for sure. Um, also, I just wrote a book. It comes no way. Out, mm -hmm, it comes out in May through Grove Press. Um, it's called Insatiable, and I hope you like it. What's the book about? It's kind of like a memoir. Um, it's I'm very heavily influenced by like David Sedaris and mm -hmm. Augustin Burroughs, like that memoir style of okay. just essays and um, like funny little stories. Um, and you know, I just talk about like my experiences. It's not like an autobiography. It's just like funny little. Just fun. In my life. Fun. Pl Fun pieces of your life. Yeah, so I hope people enjoy that. Now, now you were doing a podcast before. You're still doing yes, that. I'm still doing it. Uh, okay. It's been exactly one year. On January 16th, is that today? No, that's tomorrow. No, that's tomorrow. It'll be it'll be <laughs> one year. So I do it with my friend David Cho, who's a painter, yeah. um, and it's it's crazy. It's yeah, <laughs> like it's pretty crazy. We talk about really weird shit it's called dvd asa yeah um and it's i mean it's cool like dave and i have been friends for about maybe six or seven years now and it's basically like everything we talk about and now okay i'll, I'll confess i listen and i'll tell i'll show you how much i listen okay. I, the, I i'm behind way behind because last i heard david was pissed off that yoshi ate his potato oh chips God, you're so far you're like, i am way behind you're way what, behind um but so, but see i am spoiler alert yoshi okay. got fired oh no but it's just fun it's like and it's oddly therapeutic um <laughs> Yeah, I mean, you go, you guys talk about everything on there. Right? We talk about everything. Like, it's... You talk about your work. David talks about his yeah, work. And stuff, so it's, it's fascinating. It's, it's a lot of fun. Um, and it's funny because, like, now we text every day and stuff. But, like, now whenever we're together in person, we're like, okay, don't talk because we have to save everything <laughs> for the podcast. Yes. So we're, like, in this weird place where it's like, okay, don't talk about anything. So... <laughs> But oh, it's okay. fun. It's like, yeah. you know, it's like one of my favorite parts about my job. I love it. I well, hope perfect. I can forever. Well, yeah, there's a lot of listeners that listen to yeah. that, and then they get turned on to your other stuff that you yeah, do, too. Yeah. And so it's they're... Surprisingly well. Also, I, I love having the podcast because I think it gives, you know... Like, when I'm on the street, I can always tell when someone recognizes me. Like, mm -hmm. always. It's just, just that creepy look. look. Yeah, like, mm. yeah, but I like it. I love being approached. I, when someone comes up to me like, hey, I was just jerking off to you last night, I think that's so <laughs> hot. Like, that turns me on. So with the podcast, I think it gives people an excuse to talk to me rather sure. than like, hey, I was just jerking off to you. Now they can be like, hey, I like your podcast. Because you're, you're a guy. You, you see the pretty girl walk down. Oh, that's awesome. It's like... Oh, do I tell her I was spanking right. it to her last night? Right. That would be creepy. Maybe I shouldn't, you know. It could be awkward. But now you're saying it's okay. Yeah, yeah. No, no, no. I love it. But I know that some people feel uncomfortable sure. doing it. Sure. So now... So maybe maybe you should do this. You may... I listen to your show. It's great. And when I get done, then I spank it to you. Yeah. There you go. That's my favorite. There you go. That's my there favorite. You go. There you go. <laughs> okay, so if somebody says... If I was to tell man on the street, Asa Akira, what would you hope they think of? Um, I guess first and foremost, sexy. <laughs> Shit, I should have said great personality. There you go. Well, there you go. Okay, great I changed my answer. 
Number one, great personality. Number two, sexy as fuck. <laughs> there you go. That's that's the word of the day. Sexy as fuck. I like. That. Have multiple girls been saying it or? No, no. I mean, that's just that's just the catchphrase right, of the day. The that is it. I want a shirt that says that. Sexy as fuck. That's a good idea. Yeah. See, I, yeah, I'll, I'll change my shirt. No problem. <laughs> a bumper sticker on my car. <laughs> Actually, I should have said kind person. That should be the first thing. Put nice personality, but sexy as fuck. Yeah, and kind person. And kind. Yeah. Oh, you're kind. Yeah, you're okay. yeah. All right. So now you're in, now you're in Vegas. I'm gonna ask you one last question. You're you're in Vegas now. Where where is the place that you go to eat that you know I probably shouldn't go there, you know, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Well, I am always on a diet. Always. Everybody is. Especially AVN. Oh, like no. the the month before AVN, I'm eating salad with no dressing. No, but. It, Vegas is so much good food I here. I love Vegas food. Like when I come to Vegas and I can eat, I love it. Um, I mean, I don't even remember any of the names, but like there's just so many great restaurants. I can't even think of any. Like all the steakhouses are good. Everything yeah. in Vegas is delicious. Right? Everything is. everything. And honestly, like I'm, for me personally, I love buffets. Uh, I'm me too. I'm with you on that. I'm all about quantity. Yes. Quantity before quality for me. So, if I can go to a buffet, like, I'll do, you know, meal and dessert over and over and over until I'm dying. Until, until you can't walk out of this, the buffet anymore. Exactly. Yeah. And then you wait 30 minutes and eat again. So no, I, I go with some big guys, and they go, and they, they, all they do is they get the big, giant plates of prime rib all day. No, I don't. I ugh, that's such an amateur move. You don't. <laughs> <laughs> you have to get, like, a bite of everything. Yeah, you got to try a little bit of everything and then go yeah. back. And yeah. then go back for your favorites. Okay. Yeah. So that's the tip of the day yeah. from tip Aza. Of the day. Tip of the day for when you're in Vegas, a little bit of everything. <laughs> well, no, you can get the prime rib. Just get it's a little bit. A little bit. Yeah. But you know, when you go tell that guy, he, I, I swear to God, I, I'm not that big. So when I tell the guy I want a slice of meat, he gives me a, a, a piece like that. Right. When when my buddy Ricky here goes, he gives the whole plate size. He's like. Oh, this guy's a, he's bigger. He needs a bigger piece. So another tip of the day, wear a fat suit. <laughs> wear a fat suit when you go to the buffet. <laughs> it gives you a place to stash it too afterwards. Yeah, there you go. Place to stash the food. All right. So if people want to find out information about you, where do they find you online? Uh, I have a few. I have a Twitter okay, account well, that's at Asa Akira. Okay. My Instagram, I have three accounts. It's at Asahole. Like asshole, but asshole. <laughs> awesome. uh, at asshole three, and at asshole five. Why three? Two and four are not me. They're <laughs> they're imposters. Two and four yeah. are imposters. Yeah, obviously. Oh my god, that's obvious. Um, I have a website, asaikira.com. Um, what else? What else? What else? DVDASA.com. That's my podcast. Okay. Um, and Wicked.com. Yes, Wicked, well, <laughs> Wicked.com, I'm always, that's a given. Yeah. I'm always on that. Um, and we do live shows once a month, so that's cool. Oh, very cool. Yeah. So, um, yeah. Perfect. Well, we look forward to seeing new stuff next year. Thank you for having yes. me. This is the new Wicked Contract Girl. Yes. Awesome.